hello and welcome back to Data News of the Week. The video will be go through all the different news stories that have happened in the world of storage that we couldn't squeeze it into other videos and we cram it into one video for you guys today. But I've got to say I'm going to break my own rules a little bit today because I am going to talk about something I literally talked about this week. It is the Seagate Ironwolf 525. That is right. We saw some little inklings earlier in the week and I bunged a little preview video out about it, but it was official and confirmed shortly afterwards. The Ironwolf 525 the world's first NAS-based PCIe Gen 4 SSD. My God, things are moving quick, aren't they? Um, Seagate have brought out this new addition to their IronWolf series of SSDs. Again, we talked about IronWolf before. They've already had their range of SSD for a while, and this is their PS, uh, PCIe Gen 4 entry, arriving between 500 and 2 TB in capacity. This is a 2280 length SSD. It takes advantage of the Fizon E16 controller. Most of my predictions were right. There was a couple that I was off on, particularly uh, the, the NAND quality there. I've got to say it is 3D TLC NAND, but they are taking advantage of 96 layer Kayak uh, Axa. Um, I can never pronounce that word, Coaxa uh, NAND memory inside there. So again, good quality. It's gonna arrive without five years of um, warranty, but also the three years of data recovery uh, with a zero 0.7 drive rights per day uh, durability rated there so again at the top end the 2tb at uh, 2800 terabytes written i've got to say i kind of was hoping they'd go one drive rights per day there but again i can understand uh, with the nanda the sheer performance there rating at the top there of 5000 megabytes per second sequential read and 4400 megabytes per second sequential write with iops rated at 760,000 and 740,000 at the highest tier read write IOPS at 4K respectively. This is going to be a next gen NAS SSD. And although there's not a lot of NAS systems right now that could take advantage of it in terms of caching, there's plenty out there with the performance in terms of PCIe throughput, particularly those flash systems to really make the most of this drive. Carrying on on the subject of SSDs and moving even more enterprise, Coaxia have released lo lots more information and footage about PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. At the China Flash Marketing Summit um, this week, uh, they were showing off PCIe Gen 5 SSDs. Now remember, these are the guys that really work on the NAND. Of course, controllers, they get a little bit of help. They still put a lot of it together themselves in-house. And with this SSD arriving at a, um, 14 thousand megabytes per second sequential read and seven thousand sequential write now that is a lot let's not undercut that there but it's worth highlighting pce gen 5 has a potential sixteen thousand megabytes per second throughput potential there okay so again there's more that can be done and as they go into the times two the times four the times eight this is only going to get bigger with a lot of them talking about 32 gb being pretty much the cap there now this pcie gen 5 kind of range that's going to eventually land we're looking far more enterprise than we're going to be looking at home users but they're looking um they're saying that at launch they're ideally looking at 1.6 tb models all the way up to 30 tb models with a drive rights per day rating of between one and three now there's a lot of this is thanks to an eight channel controller that they're going to be integrating and although this is by no means a commercial availability as it stands it has to be said that they were one of the first brands to really make pcie gen 4 connectivity in u3 format and and just PCIe Gen 4 NVMe widely available before anyone else. So do not be surprised if they sneak PCIe Gen 5 SSDs onto the market quicker than you think. Next up, returning to a product we talked about in the very early days of these news videos, I of course want to talk about the D-Link Wi-Fi 6 to USB 3 adapter, which has now become available on retailers. Although stock, I think, is pretty far, few and far between. It has to be said that this 40 quid without tax adapter, the DWAX1850, is going to allow a lot more people to embrace um, 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6, which is becoming more and more available in the mobile phones in the last couple of years in a lot of media devices of course in the latest generation of consoles wi-fi 6 is now becoming the standard with 6e just around the corner that opens up that extra band 
this might be a great way for people that are utilizing mobile devices, Chromebooks, laptops, devices that aren't so easy to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 without fiddling around internally to get access to it with a simple USB adapter. And again, with um, 1,774 megabits per second potential or 177 megabytes, this is really going to surpass that of traditional 1GBE Ethernet ports that a lot of these devices are stuck with right now. Finally, a bit of toot my own horn here, the channel has reached 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much if you're one of the people that clicked subscribe to the channel. I know not a lot of people subscribe. You rely on YouTube's algorithm. You rely on it recommending things that you've seen. I get that. That's the world we live in. But for the people that have committed and clicked that button, thank you so much. It helps me understand what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Again, not just that, but with over 12 million views on the channel, it has been an absolute wild ride so far. And I genuinely cannot wait to things to get bigger, better, and just more storagey for you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing and helping me make this channel the best it can be. But this has been a somewhat arrogant uh, data news of the week. Do let me know if you want to learn anything else with these videos moving forward. I'm going to keep sticking with the weekly format. But if you guys think this is too much and move it into a longer monthly video, let me know. But otherwise, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell to be notified every week when these land. Keep yourself informed about storage. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. And of course, I will see you next week.